Ryan. Yeah. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. This is it. This week, end of August. Can you believe it? September, Labor Day. Gotta love it. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Otherwise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 29, NASDAQ's down 145, S&P's off 18 and a half. Gold. Gold contract trading up $8.30 at 2,554 an ounce. We have silver up uh, 18 cents, $30.44 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 254, $77. 37 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note, down three ticks, 113.19. The 30 year off two at 124.17 in King Dollar. King Dollar up 130 ticks, traded at 100.848. Euro 111, yen 144, and the British pound 131 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. And the world of the NQs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we're down a buck ninety-four. That's telling me we're gonna go down two fifty or something. Let's take a look at it, what we got here. Okay, so the low for the day is nineteen thousand five oh five. That's gonna be game. That's the bottom line. Look at the lows of game again. This is pretty extensive. Let me see, where am I? What did I do? There we go. So nine minutes, okay. So you get some volume in this for nine minutes. I suspect the next bar is going to be a little bit lower and you're going to get the volume again. And that's going to basically make the probability much higher that we're going to get down to these lows. Now if we get to the lows, then let's go to the Qs and just look at this on a daily. Because if we look at this on a daily, what you're going to see, to me this is a slow turn. These slow turns are always trippy, man, in general. But that's what it looks like to me. Get a slow turn. And what ends up happening with a slow turn, this is right where tomorrow you would get a much longer bar on the way down. We get the turn happening, you know, it topped out in this particular case on Thursday, Wednesday rather. You came down, tried to make a high Friday, couldn't do it. Going the opposite way today. And the real kick is going to be, does this, you know, get down number one to the 473.19? Because that would be the low going back to the beginning of last week. But I think it's capable of doing that. That's the bottom line. Tomorrow, I think you're going to see, normally when you do these slow turns, this is what ends up happening. You do slow, 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 and then boom, and it blows out. We go to the E mini. We take a look at the E mini. Okay, so. Yeah, see, this is a different setup, man. This is so wild. Yeah, the, the E mini, to me, we're down 17 at uh, 56.35. It looks to me like you can get down to the. What is this number here? Yeah, you can get down to the 27. Ah, the 19. The 27 is the high of the last low bar. So, inside the NDX, what's moving this thing around is Pendor Duel. It's a monster. Pendor Duel is down 28%. SMCI, oh man, that's getting hit too. That's down 7.5%. Arm Holdings is off 4. Micron's off 3. Let's go with the SMCI, because SMCI was trading off NVIDIA, no longer trading off NVIDIA, that's for sure, because this stock went from 1200 to 566, where NVIDIA is it's still at all-time highs. And this is coming down again with volume. So this thing is, yeah, this thing will sit the lows again and maybe a monster ABC down. 
NVIDIA, they're coming out with their numbers after the close on Wednesday. And there's no doubt that this equity here runs one of the major runners of the NDX 100. Let's put it that way. They're going to be looking for, so you're down $2.40 right now. They're going to be looking for $28 billion, $28.8 billion, and $0.64 cents to the bottom line. See, the thing that's intriguing here, the big jump has already happened, meaning they did the $26 billion last quarter. And, you know, the year before that, it was only 7.2. So they went from 7.2 billion to 26 billion. Um, in this particular case, they're only looking for about 29 billion, okay, which isn't a huge amount. And if we take a look at NVIDIA, put this on weekly. Yeah, we get everything to the downside of NVIDIA, man. To me, NVIDIA is going to go lower. We'll see whether, I mean, NVIDIA could actually gap down to 97. That's the way this is kind of set up right now. 97 was the last time we get any volume on the way up. Oh, I see what happened. Oh, watch this. This gets interesting. That already got tested. So that got tested on with 2.06 million versus 3.4. Hmm. Okay, so that got tested. But that's still a high bar, so you still get 101 as game. That's how, that's how this is shaking out right now. Some of the higher volume equities that we have in the marketplace today. Uh, you get Tesla's down 7 bucks. We have uh, Advanced Micro off 4 and a half. We have uh, Micron Tech 3 and a half. So it's interesting that the, the tech stocks, the, the chip stocks are still moving. That being said, they're, they're not moving in the way that they have been, meaning, you know, every day gapping up two, three, five, ten, ten dollars at a time. They're just not doing it. And if they're doing anything there, that volume to the downside. So we go to the Dow Industrials. I think this is hitting all time highs again. If it isn't, it's really close, man. Yeah, it did. One second here. Yeah. What was we closed at an all time high, I believe, on Friday. Three seventy six. Yeah, we just hit we hit an all time high today. So now let's look at this. This will be interesting. Let's go to the diamonds quick. Let's go to contraction. Interesting. So right there, folks, so we're back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes.